For any Xbox or PlayStation codes or cheap games on any platform, use the referral link in the description. It'll take you to G2A.com. Use the promo code CHEZ over there and you'll get yourself 3% cash back. For all No Identity merchandise, hats, hoodies and t-shirts, follow the link in the description down below to the No Identity Fan Fiber website. Hey guys, welcome to episode number 17 of the Become a Legend series here on PES 2018. We were very, very good in the last episode, both personally and as a team. And we'll hope to continue that today, scoring against Manchester United in the last one, which was definitely a career high so far. We have Leicester to start off and then hopefully we'll continue our run of uh, first team appearances in the Premier League by playing Southampton at the end of the week as well. Back with Alexandra... Oh, uh, Mitrovic alongside me rather than uh, Dwight Gale who started in the previous game against Bournemouth so fingers crossed we can keep the run of good form going drop the video a like if you enjoy subscribe to the channel too to make sure you don't miss out on any further content hopefully we can get a couple of wins here's Alex Iwobi in a Leicester shirt out wide to Mark Brighton cuts back and finds Iwobi again got two in the middle but it's dropped free to Mark Brighton here on the edge of the box Matty James to Alex Iwobi again, into Jamie Vardy, around the corner to Riyad Mahrez. <laughs> if that had gone in, that would have been ridiculous, but thankfully it didn't. Cheeky little back kill from Riyad Mahrez, but nowhere... Wow, what a throw. Nowhere near the goal. I got nailed after the... I flicked it on there, but in behind here is Christian Atsu. Holds the ball up well. He should have driven straight towards goal, and surely we would have been 1-0 in front. To Riyad Mahrez, dinked nicely to Alex Iwobi. He brings it down. Good save by the keeper to keep them out. Leicester being the most threatening side in the opening few minutes. Corner to come in from Christian Fuchs, who does have a good left foot on him. I'm back in a defensive uh, capacity, but Jamie Vardy wins the header. How they haven't scored, I'm not sure. It's another great save from... Did I see? Sorry, hang on a minute. Are we playing Carl Darlow in goal? We are. Surprised. It's the first time he's played for us, I think. I'm going to chest that down and just get rid of it. Playing Carl Darlow in, lo in, in loan, in goal for the first time. It's normally Rob Elliott or Westwood. Darlow proving that he's worth the selection. Jamie Vardy on the run. Holding off John Joe Shelby, not once but twice. Or Brighton could go back to Jamie Vardy and try to, but wasn't able to find him. Ball played into Mitrovic here quickly to me. I'll give it quickly back to him. Okay, and he's giving it back to me again. Uh, I'm going to go to Atsu on the outside of me and then drive in towards the box. Atsu let that run a little bit longer than he should have done. Ball hooked in towards Mitrovic who brings it down. That is a superb goal from Alexander Mitrovic. The technique on that volley, top class. Lovely ball in from out wide. I thought the chance had gone when Atsu let that ball run, but he chests it down and then technique. That is a great goal. We lead at home against Leicester, thanks to Alexander Mitrovic, who scored a number of goals since we've uh, arrived here at Newcastle United, and that is another one to add to the tally. Oh, a lovely cross. He's in again. He scored again, Mitrovic. Two goals in two minutes. I don't know about disappearing out of sight, but... That cross is so good and using Mitrovic's physicality to our advantage here. Two goals in two minutes, it's 2-0. Two Adara into Atsu. Atsu inside there to Mikel Marino. We've gone back to the defenders, but we're playing the ball about with such confidence right now. Lovely ball out wide. Can I be on the end of a cross? Maybe. Maybe. Whoa! Yes, I can be on the end of a cross. But that went more up than it did towards goal, I think. I believe the phrase is 50p head. Yes. We're pleading to me. Look there to Matt Ritchie. Forward to Mikel Marino. This is good football from us. Ritchie scoops it. Mitro on a hat trick. Has it. Three goals for Alexander Mitrovic. A hat trick. And that might well be a perfect hat trick, actually. One with his left. He chested down and then volleyed home. The second one was a header. And this one was with his right foot. A perfect hat trick for Alexander Mitrovic. You see him pointing for it, nobody's tracking him, and then brings it down and volleys at home. Yeah, perfect. A perfect three goal hat trick, as opposed to any other amount of goals for a hat trick. For Alexander Mitrovic. 3 0 Newcastle. Atsu on the run. 
Goes back inside. John Joe with the early ball looking for me. I've tested that down well. I mean, you have to use Christian Atsu here. Could come back to me and has done. Uh, I'm going to try and whip this from here. Oh! Desperately unlucky to not score the most incredible goal. Looking to whip back to the far top corner. And I've cannoned it back off the woodwork. Mitrovic was has stolen the thunder with the hat trick, the perfect hat trick. But we could have gotten ourselves a mention, at least in the newspaper columns, with a worldie like that. But sadly not able to do it. We, of course, have already scored a perfect hat-trick this season against Stoke. And now, Alexander Mitrovic has done it as well. Brighton into Alex Awobi, around the corner to Danny Simpson. It's probably not enough time for them to get three back, but they could get one or two. Vardy back to Morris. There's so many people in the box to aim for. Andy King, Alex Awobi, shot blocked. It will drop free and the defender will just get rid of it. 14 minutes to go. Leicester pushing. Alex Awobi going off and Shinji Okazaki now coming on. I'm not sure whether we made a change. I don't think we did. Riyad Mahrez trying to get the ball into the box again and has done. And Vardy arrives and they have gotten a goal back. It's 3-1 now. No point over celebrating though, lads. You're still two goals behind. Mahrez. Forward to Jamie Vardy. Back to Danny Simpson and to Matty James. Shinji Okazaki. Deflected, but finds Matty James. Here's Riyad Mahrez. Bit of space for a shot, maybe. Over to Jamie Vardy. That's going to go in, isn't it? The comeback is still on. We scored two in two. They've scored two in five. And there's seven left to go in the game. How that's made its way past the keeper, I'm not sure. But it is 3-2 now. Henri Saive coming on for Christian Atsu. They made a change as well. Now I'm nervous. James to Shinji Okazaki to Jamie Vardy. They're still pushing. Is that a foul? Nothing given. Or Brighton shakes off a couple of challenges. Matty James to a borrow. To a Brighton again. To Riyad Mahrez at the back post. To a corner for Leicester. Please don't pull this back from 3-0 down. With In the last 15 minutes. Demarai Gray has come on for Mark or Brighton to them. Ball comes in. Jamie Vardy flicks it on. Please just get rid. Oh, boys, you're making me nervous. Right, two minutes to go. I'm going to bust a lung, actually, to get down this wing. He's looking to play me in over the top, but Danny Simpson cuts it out. 90 seconds to go. Riyad Mahrez turns inside into a borrow. 60 seconds to go. Jamie Vardy back to Matty James. Into Shinji Okazaki. Good tackle. And we are going to come away with it. One minute of added time. And that long ball will waste all of the remaining seconds. Not even sprinting there. I'm literally just letting it run for me. And hopefully the referee will blow his final whistle. A big scare at the end. A very big scare at the end. But a hat-trick perfectly executed from Alexander Mitrovic. Two goals for Jamie Vardy in reply. Cracking game of football. Let's go and play Southampton. Strangely, after scoring a hat-trick, Mitrovic is dropped. It's actually Henri Saive that's alongside me up top. We are still playing a 4-4-2. I wanted to check the uh, the game plan before we went into the game just to make sure. Not only did he not make the starting 11, Mitrovic isn't even in the squad. I don't think he's injured. Pretty sure he's not injured. I, I don't really know why the manager hasn't selected him. So... Playing with another strike partner for the first time, Henri Saivo. We've played with Lee Gregory, we've played with Steve Morrison, and we've played with Tom Elliott at Millwall. And now at Newcastle, we've played with Dwight Gale, Iosi Perez, Alexander Mitrovic, and Henri Saive. We've had seven strike partners in what less than one season. That's pretty unheard of, but we'll see how we get on alongside strike partner number seven, Henri Saive. To Mikel Marino, there's Henri Saive. It's a nice ball looking for Christian Atsu, brings it down beautifully and looks for me. Oh, and I did get there ahead of the defender. I was, I felt like I was about a foot behind the play there. Or behind the cross as it came in, or behind the defender. And I just nipped in. It's a good couple of feet wide, but an opportunistic chance that unfortunately I haven't been able to take. Darla with a big pump. Flicked that on nicely, but Henri Saive can't get there. He's fired that straight out to Manolo Gabbiadini. He's literally just, as a beeline, runs straight at the goal. Like, 
he didn't even change direction. He just sprinted in a direct straight line and then let fly with the rocket. Thankfully, Carl Darlow was punched around the corner for a corner. Tadic will take the set piece. Eight minutes in here. Southampton very nearly taking the lead. Oriol Romay is underneath this, but it's headed away by a defender. Jonas Hector now at Southampton recovers the possession. And Nathan Redmond is there, but his header goes well wide. Goal kick. Redmond, early ball. Dusan Tadic there. He swept wide in pretty similar manner to myself. Chances at both ends of the pitch in the opening 11 minutes. This one... Well, I probably tempt fate by saying something like this, but I have a feeling this one won't end nil-nil. Good ball played forward. I'm going to try and beat Van Dijk to it. Somehow beating him in the air. I'm Saive out wide here to Christian Atsu. And I'm arriving. I've beaten Van Dijk in the air again. Oh! He's gone with a little back heel. Not an elbow, but that kind of replicates the technique. How am I beating Virgil van Dijk in the air? Not once, but twice. Great save. And then... Oh, can you imagine if that had gone in? Oh, dearie me, this one surely can't end nil-nil. Not with the regular way that chances are being created in the opening 20 minutes. Lamina, Gabbiadini, going to let fly again with his left foot. Again, Carl Darlow leaps away to make a stop. There's been so many chances in the opening 20 minutes already. Again, up on the halfway line, ready for a counter-attack. Dusan Tadic with the corner, it's a decent one. Lamina! Keeper somehow keeps it out and hacked away by the defender. Lamina getting away from everyone. Back to Jonas Hector. Cross, cross, cross. No, Gabi Adini back to Oriol Romeu. Sofiane Buffal again. Deflected. And they forward into Dusan Tadic. Lamina, Buffal. Sahant is still coming. Shot comes in. Good save. They're shooting from anywhere and everywhere, Southampton. Sofian Buffal with numerous failed cross attempts there. Dusan Tadic to take the corner. They're third of the game. But I think it's their fourth of the game, if that's that. Oh, and they've hit the post now. Nathan Redmond could get it back in, maybe. Tries Oriol Romeu. Lamina poked and... Oh. Jesus Christ, we are under pressure. Shelby. Oh, that's a nice ball played over the top. Looking for the run of the left back. And he's going to get there ahead of Hurt, I think. We'll take the corner. Yes, we will. They've had a number of corners thus far in the game. And now it's our turn to try and get one into the back of the net. Our first corner of the game. I'm drifting forwards. It's headed my way. There's that 50p head again. I mean, with the back heel. Gabby Adini off the post again. The second time Southampton have hit the woodwork in this first half. This has been the most unbelievable first 45 minutes. And it's still nil-nil. Comes Romeo underneath it on target, deflected. Still could go into the back of the net. I don't know how Southampton haven't scored 17 goals in this first half. Genuinely, I don't know how they aren't completely out of sight by now. Another corner to come in. Do Santadis to take it? One minute added on at the end of the first half. In comes the cross. The keeper will come and finally Cactus keeps hold of it. Balls it out quickly, actually, looking for me. Not that I've got anyone up in support with me. I have been able to hold off Lamina there, and then he's just outpaced me, and there's the half-time whistle. How's that nil-nil? I can't tell you. Lamina to Tadic to Manolo Gabbiadini. We've brought on Iosi Perez at half-time to come on up top alongside me, so we're back with a more familiar strike partner. He's brought that down brilliantly, Iosi Perez, but we're all arriving late. Cross could come in still. There's a number of defenders back. I'm up. There's Matt Ritchie, he could shoot, but no, Sofian Buffal steps in. It's going to drop to me, though. Give it to Matt Ritchie. He does shoot. Smart save down low. Oh, it's heading into the bottom corner. Needed saving. And now we've got another corner. John Joe Shelby to take it. I'm at the back post. And it floats, and that'll be keeper's ball. Gabby Dini out wide to Cedric Suarez. Inside to do Santadic. Oriol Romeu, Cedric Suarez, Oriol Romeu again. Nathan Redmond, Cedric Suarez. Cedric puts the ball in. Tadic arriving late. It's going to drop free to Matt Ritchie, thankfully. Now, can I win this header? Again, I've beaten Virgil van Dijk in the air. I don't know how I keep doing this. Lamina into Gabbiadini. Shot blocked, but it might drop to Lamina. Headed away. Buffal picks it up. It's just constant Southampton pressure for the entirety of the game. That is going to be another Southampton 
corner. How many chances do they need? They have 13 shots in the first half alone. Dusan Tadic off now and Stephen Davis on for them. And PA is on as well for Sofiane Buffal. Here's Iosie Perez. Oh, just totally could play me through, but I ran offside. I didn't really have much option there, but to try and make that one run. Down the line nicely. Call for this Get it, but I'll switch it. I'll try and open them up where there's a little bit more space on this side. It's a lovely ball looking for the man in the middle. He's brought it down well, but he can't hold off Wesley Hurt. Ten minutes to go. It's still nil-nil. I made the joke earlier on that I might have jinxed myself by saying this could, or this game surely would have goals in it, but it's still nil-nil, and Christian Atsu just can't get his shot away. That'll be recovered by Matt Ritchie, though. Flicked on nicely. Here's John Joe Shelby to Christian Atsu, to me, to shooting, to a good save by Stuart Taylor. The amount of chances in this game is more than there have been in any other game that we've played this season. I don't know how it's nil-nil. Matt Ritchie forward into Ozzy Perez. It started absolutely smacking it down with rain here. Nice ball through to Ozzy Perez. Oh, can he finish the same commentary? No is the answer. Corner to come in again. You can see the difference in the weather. I didn't realise there was dynamic weather on Pez. But the rain has definitely gotten harder. I've won the header. It's on target. It's saved by the keeper. Pierre inexplicably just walks around in a circle on his six yard box to get rid of it but they have gotten rid of it without any risk of me or us scoring a goal but we've won it in the midfield and we might yet score a goal Ozzy Perez heads on target but straight to the keeper comfortable save for him 90 seconds to go and the game that I said surely would have goals in it looks like it's going to end nil nil they must have had more than 20 shots though in this game we must have had at least 10. Surely we're in double digits too. Nathan Redmond can't keep that in. It's a goal kick. A little bit on. Modiami, I think that was, coming on for John Joe Shelby. There were less chances in, in this game. Oh, sorry. There were more chances in this game than there were in uh, the game against Man United that ended 3-3. Six goals in that game, and there hasn't been a single one in this. Oh, it's a lovely ball. Can we win it in the last minute? Oh, he's offside. I thought he'd blown the final whistle there. I was like, what are you doing? I'm about to put that away. Great vision to play the ball over the top, but as you can see in top left, we're now about to head into the third of one minute added on. There is the final whistle. I'd say I did jinx it, but wait until you see the stats. They had 15 shots, seven on target. We had nine and five on target. No goals. They hit the post twice as well, of course. Their keeper gets man in the match. That was unreal. That is by far the most chance-filled game. I'm pretty sure that didn't register all of Southampton's shots in the second half because they were on 13 at half-time. We're in 14th, though, thanks to our win against Leicester and that point against Southampton, which kept us above them on goal difference. Uh, and we're only three points away from 11th place, Everton, and four points away from 8th place, Swansea. The season seemingly being turned around here at Newcastle. In the next episode, we will push further forward. Our manager trust level is now 50%, so it's gone up another few since uh, today's episode has been ongoing. Team of the Month has been announced. No Newcastle players in there this time around. Zlatan and Eden Hazard up top. Up next for us will be Burnley away, but that will be in tomorrow's video. Thank you very much for watching. Drop the video a like if you enjoyed. Subscribe to the channel too for more, and I'll see you next time.